Welcome to yet another Sunday ride. Today I am going to ride the Chikmagalur. Even after buying this bike for years, I did not go on any long rides. And this is my first long ride from Bangalore to Chikmagalur. I am being accompanied by a seasoned rider who plans to cover entire India on his motorcycle and explore the places. We started our ride at around 7 am from Bangalore. It was a beautiful morning and we could navigate the traffic easily. By the time there was traffic on the roads, we had already hit the highway. After riding for 50-55 km on Tumkur Road, we took a halt on Bangalore Shimoga Road and it was time for the chai. After breakfast, we resumed our journey on Bangalore Mangalore Highway. We continued for almost 3 hours while taking many breaks in between. The roads were wide open and mesmerizing views of coconut trees on the sides. Chikmagalur is considered birthplace of Indian coffee. The first coffee crops was grown in the Baba Budangiri Hills in Chikmagalur district. Chikmagalur is also home to Singeri Sharda Pitam, one of the most famous muts of Hindu Vedanta tradition. So this town is known for its scenic beauty hills, valleys and waterfalls. Some of the most popular destinations in Chakmaglur include Mulyangiri Peak, Baba Pudangiri Peak, Kalahati Falls, Hebe Falls. Of course, I'm not going to cover all of these in this ride. My sole purpose is to ride motorcycle and then come back next day. However, in some other time, I would love to explore all of these places. Chikmaglur is also a popular destination for trekking, camping and bird watching. The uh, weather in uh, Chikmaglur uh, remains like averaging between 15 to 28 degrees Celsius throughout the year. So it's kind of pleasant and it's known for its coffee production. At around 11.30 am, we crossed Kadabahalli toll booth, which marks the journey halfway through. We continued for one and a half hours, and then it was time to refuel. We took a break at petrol pump. The petrol pump guys were kind enough to offer some chairs and we could relax for 10-15 minutes. It was not our busiest petrol pump. We were the only guys who visited here in the duration of that 10-15 to 15 minutes. We also clicked some photographs there and then we started our journey. We found some windmills near Kalkere Lake. The views were really mesmerizing. We couldn't resist clicking some more photographs over here and taking a 5 minutes halt.
After riding few more kilometers, we had to stop for lunch. We stopped at a place uh, known as Mayura Hotel and we had a South Indian meals over there. We came to know that a lot of government school students were offered free meals over here. There were a lot of small scenic spots on the journey. At around 4.15 pm, we reached Chikmagalur and entered city. Our stay was a bit far from the city area, so we still had almost 30-40 minutes more to go. In this last 40-50 to 50 minute ride, the roads were hilly and the beauty was absolutely stunning. Finally, at 5.15 pm, we arrived at our homestay. We relaxed and placed our order for the dinner. The host was good enough to put a bonfire. We spent some time talking about various topics near the bonfire after dinner. After that, I went to sleep because I had to return back to Bangalore in the morning tomorrow. <laughs>